Denmark offers a lot in the area of renewable energy. The nation not only has a lot of wind and solar electricity, but it is also building enormous energy islands that when connected to the mainland may produce even more power. To minimize Europe's dependency on fossil fuels and nuclear power while still delivering sufficient electricity for the entire population, these islands could be huge powerhouses for the whole of Europe. Let's take a look at this enormous energy project. Denmark has a long history of using powerful sea winds to generate electricity. In 1991, they built the first offshore wind farm in history. And in the climate agreement of June 22, 2020, the Danish legislature made a decision to continue that tradition by constructing two energy islands. This is the largest construction project in Danish history. Instead of building a new airport or high-speed rail line for the metropolitan area, the Danes are pouring a massive $34 billion into a brand new energy hub that will be built on a man-made island deep in the North Sea. According to the concept, a man-made island will be created in the North Sea and used as a center for 3 to 4 gigawatts of energy producing offshore wind farms, with room for 10 gigawatts of future growth. This is an offshore power facility that collects clean energy from numerous local wind turbines before sending it via undersea cables to several different countries. The prototype project in Denmark will be established approximately 80 kilometers off the coast of Thorsmind, a town in Jutland. The island will span across at least 120,000 square meters, which is equivalent to roughly 100 Olympic-sized swimming pools. In just the first phase, the island will be able to supply green energy to 3 million houses in Europe. This site will have the capacity of about 3 gigawatts, thanks to all that wind energy flowing into it. But this might increase to more than 10 gigawatts, which would be sufficient to power 10 million households. A second, smaller island is also being built in the Baltic Sea, on the other side of the nation. However, this one will be attached to Bornholm's actual island. 12 gigawatts will be reached when both are fully operational and flowing at maximum capacity, which is equivalent to all of Europe's available offshore wind capacity at the moment. Because there is so much space surrounding the North Sea Island, its location will be perfect to supply multiple countries. Future developing plans includes a new harbor and heliport, as well as facilities for storing energy on site and converting it to other uses, like green fuels or shipping aviation, and heavy industries. The addition of thermal storage units, a data center, lodging options, and recreational amenities for the site's staff, as well as a space for guests and research, are among their suggestions. These images demonstrate that it will most likely either be constructed of sand-filled artificial islands or watertight casings placed on the ocean floor and protected by seawalls. The seabed where the island and the turbines will be located has already been mapped as a part of the preparations. This allows for the analysis of soil quality and limitation of environmental damage. Regardless of its final form, the project will be a significant step towards integrating Europe's electricity grids, and many see it as essential to assisting nations all over the continent in making the switch away from fossil fuels. The system can gather and distribute power throughout the integrated grid according to demand because it is made to be flexible. It's also a crucial move for Denmark, which is currently the EU's top oil producer. The nation has stated that it will completely stop taking oil and gas from the North Sea by 2050. Since all 27 EU members have vowed to achieve climate neutrality by 2050, and some even earlier, the EU as a whole also needs to improve its usage of renewable energy sources. As a result, any greenhouse gas emissions they continue to emit will need to be compensated for by techniques that extract carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. The combined offshore and wind capacity goal established by the EU Commission is 300 gigawatts by 2050, which is roughly 25 times larger than it is today. If the initiative is a success, then others will follow, and who knows, maybe in the future, you'll discover energy islands like these surfacing off shorelines close to you. The ultimate goal is to create a climate-neutral Europe. Well folks, there you have it. Everything you need to know about Denmark's $34 billion green energy island. Would you like to see programs like these adopted in your community? Then share your thoughts in the comments section below. If you found this video to be enlightening, please like it and subscribe to our channel.
You can also click the bell icon to receive more of our updates. See you around soon.